Hello, my fellow fans of Dungeons and Dragons, and welcome back to Neverwinter Nights: Shadows of Undertide. All right, as you guys might notice, um, I have gone through some changes with my character. I accidentally lost uh, the save file from my last playthrough, so I had to catch back up. And I decided to, while I was catching back up, I decided to respect some stuff. And <clears throat> while I was at it, I also bought a new set of duds, which give me a bonus to my armor class. They are the robes of the shining hand. Um, you also might notice that I do not have Dorna with me. I've been playing this as a solo character. And because of that, I've had a slight XP boost, and I was able to pick up a second level of monk. So now I am a fourth level character. But beyond that, let's get right into this. We are on our way to go talk to a dragon, I believe. <clears throat> Although I may not have shown off that specific uh, dialogue yet. But we'll run up here. Ooh, wait, wait, wait! Deacon must talk to you. You wait there. You, you, you run. run so fast. Still talking. Deacon's so out of breath. It's so hard to catch up. Why are you following me? Speak quickly. He cannot follow you. Well, okay. Maybe he follow you a little, but he only wants to see what you be, great human hero. Deacon need your help. You need my help. <clears throat> well, Deacon not hurt nobody in village. Deacon only go on raid because master tells Deacon to. A deacon is servant to the master. Deacon sings songs, tells tales that keeps master happy. That's why Master said Deacon on break, so Deacon writes story for Master later. Only the Deacon do something very bad. Master will be very angry at Deacon. Deacon cannot go back to Master. Not ever. Deacon so frightened. So what did you do that is so terrible? The Deacon, he carries little to horse statue when we leave human village. When Noel's attack, he gets excited, and he drops the little statue. The statue is all broken now because of Deacon. He cannot bring it back to Master, because Master be angry at him. But if Deacon stay away, Master be even angrier. Deacon knows you look for a little statue. Deacon, he gives it to you if you helps him? That a good idea, yes? So how am I supposed to help you? You be great human hero. Deacon knows this. He be watching you. You go and seek out Deacon's old master, Timo Farrar. Maybe you talk to master. Makes him let Deacon go. Makes him free Deacon. And Deacon gives you little broken tower statue. All right, I'll see what I can do. Ooh, Deacon just knew that you would help him. He just knew it. Deacon is so happy now, but, um, still a little scared. You goes and finds old master, and do what you're going to do. Deacon goes to human village off to east and hides there all day. You mean, Blumberg. Uh, Deacon not know what humans call these places, but Deacon go there and hide good. You come and finds Deacon when you're done, okay? <clears throat> Alright, so we've just been conscripted by Deacon to help him basically buy his freedom from his master. Okay, so starting off, we are in an area here. This leads to the Kobold Tunnels and uh, Taimo Farrar's Cave. I believe that that human that I ticked off in the uh, the Durger's farm ambushes me around this area, but 
not 100% sure. I think I have to go down here before he does it. And as you can see, there are a lot of wolves down there. I don't want to be gnawed by wolves, so I'm going to use this spell. And we're going to try and put at least some of them to sleep. And we're going to fail. Okay, I got one of them at least, so that's one set of attacks that aren't going to be coming at me. It also seems to have stopped the other wolf. But I don't think I'm going to be able to take out both of these wolves before this one wakes back up. Still down, that's good. Oh. Nope, you woke up. You will regret that. I may stay over there, that's fine. As long as I only have to deal with one of them at a time, they're not that bad. It's when there's three or four of them that are trying to gang up on me that becomes a problem. <laughs> I also have a much higher armor class than before. And I do have an item that should allow me to raise my armor class even more. But I have to get it identified. And because ah, I still can't lower half of the things that I own. So, uh, we're getting beaten up. How many hit points do I have? Nine. I should be able to take one or two more hits before I have to heal. Hopefully it won't crit me. That would suck. Okay. We're gonna take all of these leather hides and wolf pelts. Or they are worth gold. Very insignificant amounts of gold, but gold nonetheless. Also going to take this opportunity to healing kit myself. Because uh, those dudes hurt. Oh, and my light spell has worn off. One of the things I think that's supposed to happen is um, if you're a not dark vision character and you try and fight in the dark, your to-hit bonus is supposed to go down. Whether or not that's true is hard for me to tell, but I feel like I've been hitting better with the light up, so I'm going to keep doing it. Okay, so before I continue, this area leads into some orc caverns, and this over here is the kobold cavern. Since this is kind of the offshoot, I'm going to explore this area first. But the problem with that is there's a bunch of orcs in here. Okay. I got two of them down immediately. Just going to use that to go ahead and kill off two of them immediately. Get some free cleave attempts. like that's got everybody. There's more area over here, so once I loot all of these little boxes, I will be heading that way. If I remember correctly, there is a boss orc up here. And this game really wants you to kind of uh, be an archer, I think. They throw a lot of magic bows and stuff at you pretty quickly. Let's go and do a crossbow. Because I found a magic longbow in the uh, other dungeon in 
the area where you get the helmets that protect you from the gas trap. And I sold that off. And I think this guy gives you a magic bow too. Mark Chieftain, he is challenging. And there's an elf ranger that he has killed, it looks like. Okay, well, let me try and put him to sleep. I don't even know if I can put him to sleep. Oh, I can. <clears throat> well, it's good to know that he does not have four hit dice. Ugh. Oh, I couldn't coup de gras him, though. Ah. So now we're in a fight. It's kind of good that I didn't, wasn't able to coup de gras him. It's kind of anticlimactic if that was how he goes down, but... Ugh. Okay, we're gonna kind of move away from it. Potion. Thankfully, I do have Tumble, so I can maneuver around him a little easier than a normal character might. You will regret that. Oh, he hurts real bad when he hits, though. Ah, he hurts real bad when he hits. Oh, I have some choking powder I can try and use on him. Ah, now he's stunned. Don't regret that. Oh yeah, I could always try stunning him with my stunning fist attack too. Alright, there he goes. Thankfully the sleep spell put him to sleep so I wasn't getting tagged by him with his magic bow. Yeah, this this area of the game really wants you to be an archer. five gold. So, oh, we got the treasure out of this area. A treasure that I can't use. But one that will become gold soon enough. Okay. And with that, we'll come back down this way. Get that pelt from, I think it was a badger that I killed. And we shall enter the Kobold Caves. Alright, so this area kind of shows off the strengths of the Kobolds. Kobolds are typically pretty uh, physically weak. But one of the big things that they've got going for them is they are expert trap makers. And I've already run into one. This area is littered to the brim with traps. And these may not be traps that I can personally disable. Uh, I guess I can. Uh, but barely. Okay, I see a group of them. Get behind some rocks. Make sure that the snipers have to come in closer so that they don't get attacks, or at least I can get some attacks of opportunity when they try and shoot me. Ugh. Ugh. Okay. Got those. Let me make sure he doesn't drop anything. Nope. Okay. I think one of the things I'm going to do is I'm going to start taking this kind of slow. I want to make sure I can see the traps when they're coming up. Okay, there is a slasher and a sniper in here. You know what? I don't use this a whole lot, but I'm going to try and stealth in here. Catch them unawares. Okay, so I got a free 
free couple of attacks before they knew I was there. Didn't do me much good, especially since they're beating the crap out of me again. My steel. Okay. One down. Now we've just got to deal with the sniper. And he's moved to a dagger. Okay, so I just keep rolling really low today. It's fun. Alright, there he is. Ooh, a potion of bull strength. That could be very useful. Gold. And some crossbow bolts. It's just a normal short bow, so I'm not even gonna bother picking it up. I think it's only worth three gold or something like that. Again, in the grand scheme of things, the amount of gold I would get for it's probably not really worth picking it up. Crossbow bolts are useful. So again, I'm gonna try and sneak. And a kobold just ran past me without. Uh, Noticing me, I guess. Alright, got one. instead of as a sorcerer. That way I can get cure or harm spells. That might be something to try later. Okay. Picked up some thief tool kits. Hey, magic short bow. Can't use it, but I can definitely sell it. I forgot to give this to the spirit. Well, I'm gonna have to take care of that off screen. Let me go back towards that area, probably. We won't. <laughs> Yeah, that reminds me, there are some kobolds later on that do do some ice damage, so having that amulet of uh, ice resistance might actually be pretty useful. So I definitely need to go back there sooner than later. Man, that was really dumb of me. Okay, so this is now a trap that I cannot disarm on my own. The problem with it is, is that this ballista is going to shoot me. And I don't remember how many hit points it has. Let's see if I can just pass the crap out of it. Not with damage like that. There we go. And the bigger problem is that there is a another trap that does that. Okay, so uh, there's another ballista, I think, down this hallway. But this is an interesting hallway. As you can see, these two chests are glowing magically. There is nothing in them. Or if there is something in them, it is kobolds. And there's nothing in these barrels either. So, but if the kobolds would shoot them, it releases a grease spell. So instead, I'm going to kill, break them open. And then I'm probably going to try and snipe <laughs> the kobolds that are up here. I 
can come to me. And of course they can run over the grease spells, but... We won't go block away from this. Alright, and as you can see there, I've actually deflected a number of... The bullets. That is something that a monk can do. Although, I apparently don't want to do it very often. Basically, I make a reflex save versus the attack roll, I think. And if I succeed, will strike true. I can deflect any missile attack. Very useful when you're fighting low-level archer types. Okay, just pick up all this stuff. Ooh, maybe instead of using the crossbow, I'll just throw some darts. Okay, so that cleared out this area, and like I said, there are either kobolds in these chests or nothing. Yep, nothing. And nothing. Okay, and I know... Ah! That's what this is. Okay, I know there's kobolds hiding in some kind of package here. I think it's these crates. You won't both walk away from this. Let's not miss the crate, please. Now, I can't do enough damage to the crate. Oh, no. Maybe I'm just remembering wrong. Hey, there he is. And as you can see, there is a, another ballista. There's also a cobalt sorcerer over here. I wonder if I can My bash this. steel will strike true. It absorbs damage too, so this is gonna take a while. <clears throat> Also a cobalt of the depth. Alright, show me where the trap is, please. Thank you. Nope. Cobalt slasher coming at me. You will regret that. Move over here just so the casters can't see me. Take on the slasher. Oh, I just don't remember how much this ballista, how much damage it actually deals. 